Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to do a few examples on simplifying algebraic expression, probably three or four examples within 10 minutes if possible. So yeah, when you see an expression like this, the first thing that you ne need to think is, what can you factor out? So I'm going to write this like this, two times, this dot means times, two times A times B times B minus 2 times 3 times A times B over A times A times B times B. So I will circle the numbers and the letters which are common. So I can see a 2 common here. I can do a 2 common here. I can see an A and A here and a B and a B here. What is common is, I'm going to write the next step like this. The next step can I write like this? This is 2AB times B minus 2AB times 3. So 2 times A times B can be written. This is this is 2AB squared and this is 6AB over AB dot AB or AB times AB. In algebra, dot means times. So can I factor out this 2AB? So if you factor out this 2AB, you've got a 2AB sitting here, you've got a 2AB sitting here. So you, you can write B minus 3 inside the bracket. And the deno denominator I can write as 2AB times AB. Now, what can you cancel? Well, I can cancel this AB with this AB. Okay, so that gets cancelled. So what can we write now? So this is uh, 2 times B minus 3 over AB. And that's your final answer. You can't simplify this any more. So this is your answer. <coughs> now here, this is an example of, again, simplifying rational expression. You have a numerator, which can be factorized. So you start you know, the simplest way of factorizing a quadratic is to put in two brackets. Okay. So here you've got an x squared sitting here, so you can write an x times x here. And everything is plus, so you don't have to worry about the signs. You can put a plus and a plus. So think of two numbers or two factors of 6, which adds to give you 6. So 6. The two factors which adds to give you 6 are 1 and 6. If you add them, 1 plus 6 is 7. So that will not uh, be sufficient because we want 5 okay, in the middle time. So if you write 6 as 2, time, 2 and 3, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 plus 3 is 5. So the factors would be plus 2 plus 3 here, just like that. And then you can cancel this a plus 3 and a plus 3 here. So what remains is uh, x plus 2, just like that. Okay, one more question. 5ab, 5a minus 2a minus 7. So this is a pretty easy question. So here, again, this minus has to be very careful. You have to be very careful. You're opening... You're distributing this negative 1. This is, you're multiplying with negative 1. So let me explain again. Negative 1 times 2a is negative 2a. And then you distribute this to also negative 7. So negative 1 times negative 7 is plus 7. So this will be 5a minus 2a plus 7. Now this is where most of you can go wrong if you not be careful. So now this is, you can simplify this too. That is 3a plus 7. And that's your answer. Pretty easy question. Okay. Now yeah. <coughs> Again, <coughs> excuse me. You have to simplify the numerator. So yeah, I'll write like this. This is 3 dot a dot a minus 3 dot pi dot a dot b. As I've told you, dot means times. 
So, this can I write like this is 2 dot 3 dot a dot a. So, what is common? So, let me show you the common. So, you got a 3 year, you got a 3 year, you got a a year, you got a a year. Okay. So, can I write now the numerator like this? This is 3a times a minus 3a times 5b over 3a times 2a. Can you see what I'm doing? Where I'm leading you? So I've factored out, I've written everything in terms of 3a, which is a common factor. So if you factor out a 3a in the numerator, if you take that out, you'll have a from here minus from here 5b over 3a times 2b. And now you can cancel the you can cancel the 3 a. So if you can cancel like this, so what will remain is your answer, which is whatever is remaining, which is a minus 5b over 2b is the final answer. Okay, and uh, you should be pretty be happy if you are getting all these answers right. See you in the next video.